I've got a big question for you. What are you using? Google translation or a dictionary? The first thing I tell them is don't ever use Google translation. And if you feel like, hmm, this is actually something I'm doing, I'll explain to you why and how you can kind of, you can use Google, but maybe not Google translation. And I will show you quick and easy dictionary that you can use directly on your phone and you will have the translation in two seconds like you would have it with Google Translation. Let's get started. The first thing I um, want to show you is word reference. Um, this word reference is an online dictionary that you can use with your phone just with the application and if you don't have a smartphone or if you are um, in a place where you can't use your phone you can still use a computer yes you need a computer or at some point a Wi-Fi connection um, or internet connection but if you're using Google translation it's already the case so you're not really changing anything here um, so when you use um, this dictionary you can have lots of different things that you don't have on Google Translation. First, it's not a book. When you have this huge dictionary book, it just don't feel like you want to read it or you just don't want to open it. First, it takes more, more time to actually search for the word, find the word, and sometimes you're like one page translation or one page definition. You feel like, ah, oh, I don't know which one is mine. It will be, sort of the same thing with the online dictionary because you will have lots and lots of different possibilities because hey it's a language so no you don't have just one word for your word in your native language uh, sometimes you can have one word in your late native language and 10 different in english or one in english and 10 different in your language so you have to keep in mind that there isn't only one word from one language to another and this is something you have to keep in mind when you try to translate something or when you try to understand something. So the use you must have of a dictionary shouldn't be only the translation to your native language or from your native language. It has to be a whole process of understanding a whole context and not just one word out of context because one word in one context might be very different in another context. Um, the second thing of what is which is really good about this application is that it takes seriously two seconds You just go in the dictionary. You choose the type of dictionary that you want it can be English can be Spanish can be You have lots and lots of different type of dictionary in this dictionary Amazing you don't need to buy anything. This is totally free um, You can find expressions Have you ever tried to? write down and translate an expression on Google Translation. How did it go? If it happened to you and it was kind of weird, nonsense sentence, that's totally normal because Google Translation is translate, translate, Google Translation, that's hard. Damn, I can't pronounce that. Google Translation is translating word by word and doesn't make any connection between two words and doesn't make any grammar or anything because this is the job of a translator and you will never find anything which is translating a, an exp a whole expression. It's just not possible. So you'll have to accept that. Uh, if you want to translate or to understand something, you have to go word by word and try to translate it yourself but you can't ask a dictionary or anything which is not a person to translate a whole sentence or a whole expression. But on word reference, you have a section at the end of the page where you can see forums and you see people actually talking about one expression or one specific context and they are trying to find a solution to translate in their own native language or to find an explanation to explain it in English for people who are not trying to translate but just to understand the expression. Uh, 
Other option that you have on word reference is the pronunciation. You don't have that on Google Translation. What is even better is that you can get pronunciation from different countries. You don't have just a British one. You have British, American, um, Jamaican and lots of different um, pronunciation. So it's very good for you to practice if you are going to Jamaica for holiday. You can listen to the Jamaican accent on certain words. And the last one is that I would say that you have the definition instead of the translation. And most of the time it's much more efficient to actually read a definition or a synonym or a contrary and you will just remember this word so much easier than just reading the the translation in your language. Um, if I compare with Google, Google Translation, it's only one word, or if you make an expression or a sentence, you'll never get what you want. Um, there's no context, so maybe the word you're using now or you want to use right now has absolutely nothing to do with what Google is actually giving you. Um, you have to look for context and you will see by using word reference or using a dictionary, if you want to use a dictionary, that uh, it really doesn't stick to your context. And you will see that in some uh, context, it feels like, wow, this is a totally different word. But I give you an alternative. If you're still a big fan of Google um, and you just used to use Google and you think it's faster, then actually look in a dictionary and take the time what I recommend for you to use as an alternative, but only for vocabulary, which is around objects or anything which is not abstract, you can use Google image. It's working so well. You just write the word in Google image and you will see the image of it. And in two seconds, you know what it is. So um, give you an example. If you go to the restaurant and you've got huge difficulty to understand um, the menu, just go on Google image and then you will see what product it is. Or just a meal. You know, sometimes you go in a country and you feel like, okay, I know all the ingredients, but I don't see what it's going to make. And uh, just go on Google image and you will have you just put the name of the um, recipe or the name of the meal and you'll probably find a picture and comments. You can even go probably on TripAdvisor or a website like this that will tell you uh, what is the menu about, what is this recipe and if it's good or not. Right, that's it for today. I, hope, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'm sure that if you liked it, you'll give a thumb up to this video. If you have any comments, if you want to tell me if you're using Google translation still, even after this video, or if you kind of change your mind and you're going to use um, a dictionary, if you know any other dictionary online, which is not word reference, but you consider as good, please put it in comment. I'll be very happy to to see it and to try it and then uh, recommend to my students. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.